Hello everyone, Sonny Kruger here from the Codex Podcast. Welcome to another episode of From the Vault. So, on episode 23 of the Codex Podcast, I talked about X-Men 97 being released on Disney+. Plus. I'll have to wait till 2023, but I believe it will be worth the wait. Now, the X-Men, the animated series from 92 to 97, is what got me into X-Men, comic books, cartoons. It's the first show I was, I was obsessed with, and I, love it. I still love it to this day, even in my 30s, and... I decided for my friend the vault would be going back to a little X-Men the animated series. I'm not going to show you all my toys because well there'd be many old toys to show. But I decided to show some comic books. And there was a time my father would take my brother on bike rides and he would tell my brother pick out a comic book for him and pick out one for me. And my brother thought it would be very funny to pick out the comic book for me of our most hated X-Men episode and that was the X-Men, Shadows in the Sky. We really hated this episode, and he thought it would be nice to get me the comic book of it. But nowadays, uh, at least it's a good laugh. And he, he decided to get himself the X-Men Mutant Hunt. Yep, the one with where Wolverine fights Alpha Flight. So he got that while I got the, the episode that we hated. Other issues, another one he had was the Gambit episode, which was Thieves and Assassins. There we go. And another one we had was from Season 3 now, was from the Phoenix Saga episode, was this one here, The Return of Juggernaut. But one of the real reasons I really wanted to tell you guys about X-Men the Animated Series, and one thing I really had to show you, I had to dig deep in the vault to find this. And it is a VHS copy of Beyond Good and Evil. Now this is a special edition Beyond Good and Evil, and what is so special about it is that with this, how oh, it's parts 1-4, through four, but it doesn't go uh, beginnings and credits throughout the episodes. It literally just starts at the beginnings, and then... Throughout the episodes, once it says to be continued, it immediately starts with the next part. So it is truly like watching a movie. The beginnings are only at the beginning, and the credits only appear after part four ends. Uh, I remember a while, years ago, back when there were video stores and you would rent VHS movies, my aunt took me and my cousins to rent a movie, and I found this, and I wasn't sure what episode it was, but I looked, and I was like, it's Beyond Good and Evil. And I watched the whole thing about three times within one day, and I said, I need, to get, I need to add this to my collection. And eventually I did. And even though times changed and, you know, VHS movies became DVDs, Blu-rays, I still never got rid of my VHS copy of Beyond Good and Evil. And I still have no clue as to why the cover is Rogue punching Pyro when they have no point in the, when they're barely in the episodes. Um, I mean, Rogue's in there a little bit, but... I don't know why this is the cover. This is probably the most oddest cover of an X-Men um, tape ever. I mean, at least on the back, you get the X-Men there, but there is no Apocalypse, there's no Bishop, there's no Cable shown, none of them shown, <laughs> but the cover is Pyro and Rogue. So that is my quick From the Vault today. Take care.